Hey guys, this is Philip from Safe Motor Co. And on today's episode, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the different brake systems that come on minis. What one should you choose? What one's right for you? And what do we like best? So Minis came with uh, quite a different uh, variety of brake systems, uh, both from the wheel point of view, which I think we've gone over before in some previous videos talking about the drum brakes, the Cooper S brakes, the 8.4 inch rotor brakes, uh, but then there's also from the, uh, the master cylinder side or the booster side. Uh, so when Minis first came out, they had single line master cylinders. These were unboosted setups. Uh, this was for all of the early cars, including the drum brake cars and the uh, Cooper S, or some of them Cooper S uh, versions. Uh, the single line brake systems, in our opinion, kind of feel the best. Uh, they have uh, the least areas for air to go, so they're easier to bleed, um, and, uh, and they kind of look more classic. They have a really simple, so either the uh, steel kind of tin can or the white uh, plastic can. Looks kind of similar to the clutch master cylinder. Uh, just a single line, a single line feeds the entire brake system. So also what this means though is if you get a leak, uh, that single master cylinder, uh, if it leaks out, uh, there's no uh, secondary system for that. So from a safety point of view, a twin system, dual system, uh, is a lot safer. And that brings us on to the second type of master cylinder. That's called the uh, yellow tag conventionally master cylinder. Usually those were vertically mounted um, master cylinders and they are twin bore. So there's actually a 0.70 inch bore and a 0.75 inch bore, um, but they run on the same piston and one feeds the front brake, the other feeds the back brake. Uh, what this does is, first of all, it gives you a different proportioning for the front and rear brakes. So you get uh, a different volume of fluid being moved for the front system and the rear system. Uh, the, it also um, gives you a, sail, a fail safe. So if one of the systems uh, were to uh, you know, break a, a line or whatnot and leak out, uh, you have the other one because there are two pistons uh, within that system. With the Minis, you have to really uh, check the year uh, and the model of your car because they even came with um, diagonally split systems, front and rear split systems, uh, systems that have no splits at all. Uh, so when you're coming to picking your master cylinder, make sure you get the right size, make sure you put the lines on the right uh, side of that master cylinder, uh, and, uh, and then also make sure that your wheel cylinders and your calipers match the master cylinder. It's all really important to get the right, uh, both brake pedal feel, um, balance for the braking system, and just general function. The last system that's commonly used pretty much from uh, all of the fuel injected cars um, uh, from the kind of early 90s all the way up uh, is this system here, and this is with a booster. Uh, there also was a booster on the earlier cars, some of the Coopers, the Cooper S's have them. There were like a remote booster. Um, some of the earlier cars, the carbureted ones in the kind of late 80s also still had a booster. Um, boosted systems are the kind of most modern, most complex. Uh, what you will have is a booster that's mounted here uh, and then a master cylinder. The master cylinder sits uh, horizontally, not vertically like on the other systems. Uh, this is what's called a green tag master cylinder. Mounts to the booster. Because of this, uh, the way that the booster sits and the space that it takes up, they had to put it horizontally. And because of that, you have a linkage system. So instead of the pedal going straight up and pushing on the master cylinder, it has to go through a linkage system to turn it sideways. Uh, and that's kind of, you can see it on the back side here um, with these uh, nylon bushes that turn the system. And then it goes to the booster and then it goes to the master cylinder. Because of this, uh, there's just more wear points. Uh, so you really want to be careful uh, with these ones that uh, all of the wear points are in good order. A uh, boosted system can feel great. Uh, it feels a lot more akin to a modern car uh, where you don't have to push quite as hard on the pedal. 
Uh, it really depends on what you're looking to get out of a Mini. Um, our preferred setup is to use a non-boosted system. The Minis are really lightweight cars and really you don't need a booster. Um, but if a booster system is on your car, I mean, it's obviously easier to leave it that way and, uh, and you can get a great brake pedal feel out of a boosted system. So that's it for our short overview of the different kind of brake systems on a Mini. Uh, maybe tell us what your favorite type of uh, system is for your car, put them in the comments below. Uh, maybe you have some points I didn't cover today, uh, we'd always love to hear that. Uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.